Hi friends, Stacy Robertson, founder of Tea Market, and today I am going to do a little mini matcha class for you. One of our most popular classes I ever did was our matcha class, and I'm so disappointed not to be able to do them right now, and so I wanted to do a little video that gives you a little mini matcha class. So thank you for joining us, and let's get started. First of all, I love matcha, and the way that I like to explain to people the difference of what really is matcha. Matcha is extremely high quality Japanese green tea that's shade grown and it is then ground finely into a magical powder. And so the first thing that I'm gonna make for you, I'm going to do my very best to make drinks and talk all at the same time. So pardon me if I flub up a little, but let's get started. So this is our matcha, and how could anything, this beautiful green color, not be good for you? You know, matcha has been around for a long time. It's gotten very, very popular. People come in all the time and they're like, hey, do you guys have that new thing I heard about, matcha? And New thing indeed, all right? It has been utilized by Buddhist monks for over 800 years. So matcha has been with us a very long time, but I'm so grateful that it's gotten so popular because it's a wonderful way to help take care of ourselves and help us to stay well naturally. So this is a gram of matcha. This is your daily dose of matcha, if you will. And matcha, by its nature, is so full of essential oils and amino acids that it kind of clumps together. So what we like to do is sift it. So if you can see that, it's really, really clumpy and it kind of sticks together and that's its nature. So anytime that we can give it a super quick whisk, just like that, just a few seconds really, and it turns it into a velvety smooth powder. And what I like to do is we simply pour brewing temperature water over, and I like to use 160 degrees. And so we simply pour it right over the matcha. And you could do this in a bowl, a matcha bowl, a large cup or something like that that you have. I'm going to do it in this little pot. This is how we make it for you at tea bar. So if you've ever had a matcha at a tea bar, you've seen this pot before. And so what I like to do is you simply pour enough water over so that you can get an emulsion going. And this is a bamboo whisk. In the age of I everything, this bamboo whisk is still the very best tool for the job. And the reason is because the tines of this whisk are so soft and pliable that you can really get in there and get a good emulsion going. So what we do is kind of a from the wrist, a little back and forth motion that we refer to as M and W. So you're just making M and W's in just a few seconds. It goes from that powder to a beautiful emulsified drink that is nice and frothy. It has that beautiful foam on top, which is really what you want. Now, once you have an emulsion going, you can add as little or as much water to it as you like. And so I'm gonna make this to the strength that I like it when I'm enjoying my matcha. You know, in Japan, they actually have a drink they call thick matcha, and that is a lot of matcha powder and just a little bit of water. And uh, if you're looking for something to give you a little get up and go, that would do it. So once you have it emulsified, you can simply add more water to it. I want to show you how beautiful this is. So this is the matcha whisk and you know, I'm a girly girl, I love accessories, and this little thing exists for no other reason than to be the perfect place where you set that. And that way it stays, keeps its shape, and it'll dry perfectly. All you ever need to do is simply rinse that off. So now that our matcha is prepared, look at that. It is just gorgeous. Now, I've heard a lot of comments and people saying things like, oh, I've tried matcha before, I absolutely hate it. You know, the quality really, really matters. And um, so if you think that you don't like matcha, please come to Tea Market and let us prepare a drink for you and prove you wrong because this particular grade of matcha is absolutely delicious. So again, as I said, matcha is extremely high quality Japanese green tea that is stone ground into a powder and it is shade grown. So what that means, during a particular time, during about two weeks prior to harvest, they actually erect uh, black fabric over the cloth, over the cloth, over the plants, and what happens then is the plant has to work really, really hard to get its sunshine to produce that chlorophyll, and it 
uh, it winds up being literally the greenest thing on earth. And so extremely high quality and extremely good for you. So this is Ceremonial Beautiful Matcha. And if you would like it to taste a little bit different, one of the things that's a neat little trick is that you can prepare your favorite tea. So let's say you love Berry Wellness or you love Tropical Green or a different kind of tea. Instead of just using hot water as I did from the kettle, you can prepare your tea first and then use it to um, whisk your matcha and that way it would taste like your favorite tea as well only much more vegetal and grassier and much more green and so the difference between matcha and just having loose tea the next drink that I'm going to make for you is our most popular drink that we do at tea market and this is our matcha latte so if you're a person that loves a yummy latte in the morning but you would love to transition to something with less caffeine and more energy boost and less of that tummy trouble that we can get from coffee uh, a matcha latte might be perfect for you. Since this takes a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and get the milk going. When we make them at Tea Market and what we recommend people do at home, if you really want to make them as healthy and low calorie as you possibly can, we use the organic almond milk that's completely sugar-free. And this is our wonderful milk frother. And I'm just gonna put a very small amount, less than a half a cup of almond milk in there, put the top on, and then that is going to, there we go, <laughs> that is going to make it warm it to 110 degrees and then make it nice and frothy so we really get that sort of, oh, I don't know, barista quality um, fluffy drink. And so we prepare our matcha in the same way. But the biggest difference between matcha and ordinary whole leaf loose tea that we use that is we are consuming the whole leaf with matcha. My favorite example that I love to give people in class, for example, if you were to cook broccoli, let's say, when I was a kid, everybody made broccoli wrong, right? They put it in boiling water and let it boil. But if you take that to the sink and you would pour off that water, what color is the water? It's a little green, right? So some of the nutrients and the nutrition and the vitamins and minerals have leached out from the broccoli into the cooking liquid. Well, when we make whole leaf loose tea, that's what we're drinking. We're drinking the water poured off of the plant. When we're talking about matcha and the entire plant has been stone ground into a powder, we're consuming the whole plant. So it's the nutritional bang for the buck as eating the broccoli. And so, and these little leaves are hand harvested um, and they actually have the stems and the veins removed before they are stone ground into that powder. So really it's an amazing, amazing process. So the process for making a matcha latte begins exactly the same as simply making a ceremonial matcha. Again, I am going to, and as I said, this measures a gram, but this is your daily dose of matcha, if you will, for if you're just uh, maintaining optimal, optimal wellness. And you don't have to take my word for it. It says one perfect cup of matcha right on the spoon. And don't worry, of course we sell these and you can have one too. And so what you do is you just measure up your matcha, put it right inside the same little pot. I'm gonna need a cup for the matcha latte. Do you think you could find me one? Good thing I've always got Missy's got my back here, helping me out on these things. Okay, so we have that all nice and whisked together. And I'm just going to pour, now I'm making strong matcha. So I'm making kind of a concentrate because the goal is to combine it with the almond milk, come up with a delicious drink. That's perfect, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this up. Don't be timid when you're whisking your matcha. You wanna get in there. Where your matcha comes from is very, very important. That's why, um, for me, I only sell the matcha that I trust my own health to. I have been drinking matcha every single day for probably, I don't know, 11 or 12 years now, very long time. Absolutely love it. And uh, it really, really um, helps you get all of these wonderful antioxidants, polyphenols, catechins, all of the wonderful things that drinking green tea has to offer times 10. It's extraordinary, uh, the antioxidant component of matcha. Why are antioxidants important? Well, antioxidants do a wonderful job in the body. What they do are they help promote health and boost our immune system by shutting down 
free radicals that come into your body from all kinds of things, the environment, foods we eat, um, toxic chemicals that we come into contact with, just simply the air we breathe, and sometimes genetics can make us more uh, susceptible to that type of thing. And having your system fully charged with a lot of really antioxidant support helps your body shut those things down and uh, help keep all of our cells really, really healthy. And so when we make a matcha latte, I'm just gonna put it right inside this cup, and we like to use a little raw organic honey, which makes a really nice one. And you just use a little bit, you would do it to your taste. A little squeeze from the honey bear there, all right, and pour our matcha over. So you can see how really intensely green and dark that one is. And we've made like a concentrate. Now I'm just gonna stir it up. There are a lot of delicious fruits and vegetables and different things that have super high antioxidant content. I don't know if you can see this piece of paper, but I'm gonna show you a little bit. So this is a chart with some of known superfoods. So you remember Popeye and how important it was to eat your spinach. Well, you know, here's, here's spinach. Spinach is very good for you. Everybody knows how good broccoli is for you. And then there are all these wonderful superfoods, goji berries and, um, and acai berries, things like that. I love, this is a second to matcha up here is dark chocolate. So pure, organic, uh, dark chocolate is super good for you. But then this is matcha. So it is completely off the chart in the antioxidant content. And with today's environment, with the food and all of the different things, depleted soil, it's really uh, impossible to get all of the antioxidant and immune boosting support from the foods that we eat. So doing a little daily matcha is a wonderful way to really boost that and help keep ourselves healthy. Look at that. So the frother has made our almond milk wonderful and fluffy and light. And now we have this delicious, slightly sweet from a little bit of honey, super creamy from that frothed and heated almond milk, and then our delicious matcha. Isn't that just gorgeous? I would like to sit here and drink it and get a big old green mustache right now, but I, I won't, okay. And then to really, if you wanna make it flavored with something, we love to add essential oils to matcha latte. So peppermint, and all you need is one drop. And so be careful, I'll show you how exactly how to get a drop. Tilt the bottle, and when it starts to come out, come right back up, and that's a perfect way to get one drop. So we love to put cinnamon in this, or a little bit of ginger is absolutely lovely. Peppermint is so refreshing and nice. So it's your matcha latte, you make it exactly how you like it. That's how easy it is, absolutely delicious. Okay, one of the things that's really, really special about matcha is that we're getting the support from consuming the whole leaf. Like I said, you're getting 10 times the health benefits of simply drinking green tea because you're consuming the whole leaf. And so from that, we get fiber and we get all kinds of other uh, nutrients that are really beneficial to health. One of the main components that um, we refer to in matcha is an antioxidant called EGCG. EGCG stands for epigallocatechin gallate, and that is the component in matcha that's really responsible for those wonderful antioxidants. It's also responsible for the part of matcha that helps with maintaining a healthy weight. And so the next thing that I'm gonna make for you is a delicious treat that I like to have every afternoon. I generally have, I'll have matcha every single day, sometimes two, because of the another wonderful component in matcha, and that is L-theanine. L-theanine is a non-protein amino acid that acts like serotonin to the brain. So it counterbalances the way, way, way more gentle caffeine than the caffeine in coffee, for example. So a serving of matcha has about equal caffeine to a cup of black tea because you do have a little bit more caffeine than green tea, but it has way more L-theanine, and the L-theanine really balances the caffeine so that we get this lovely thing that I like to refer to as tranquil energy. So you're awake, you're alert, but you're calm. You don't get that jitter, and you don't get you know all of that kind of anxious feeling that a lot of people sometimes get from coffee, and especially women. As we get a little bit older, sometimes that coffee begins to affect us negatively, and that 
that way. And matcha is the perfect, perfect replacement for that. So I'm gonna show you my little afternoon pick me up. Sometimes around three o'clock in the afternoon, do you ever get a little bit of that sinking feeling where you need some energy, you need a little something? And this is my favorite thing to do is a matcha lemonade. So this is our wonderful um, tea market to go cup. It is glass inside where it touches your tea, plastic outside where it touches the world. So it's the perfect to go cup. And we just put ice in here. I'm turned around today. I'm coming from you. I'm coming to you from the kitchen where I have access to all of my things instead of the other way around. And so the way that we make the matcha lemonade, this is um, two tablespoons of organic lemon juice. If you're using fresh lemons at home, that's about uh, half a lemon. And you put it right inside over the ice. And then I'm gonna put this right back on. You know, I learned this tip from a customer. I learned so much from you guys when we're hanging out at tea bar in the shop and making drinks and all of that. I was using one of these cups and I had the sifter over it like that. And she goes, what are you doing? I go, what do you mean? I'm sifting the matcha, of course. And she goes, that thing comes with the sifter. I'm like, brilliant. You're absolutely right, it does. So I'm just gonna take the same amount of matcha and I'm gonna put it right on top of the filter that comes with this cup. Now, just a few seconds of working it through there. And now I've got that beautiful, fine, smooth powder over the ice. And that's what's gonna make it combine super quickly. A lot of times when people come in and we wanna talk about matcha and, and you know, this 30 gram tin is the way that we sell it. We also sell it in a 100 gram bag, which is a much better deal, uh, especially if you're going to develop what I like to refer to as a daily practice of drinking matcha. The health benefits of matcha really accumulate in the body over time. Just like if you switch to a super healthy diet, one salad doesn't change your world, but making sure that you get that those leafy greens in every single day really does transform your health. And matcha is the same way. Having it every single day really does uh, increase the benefits over time. So now I've got my lemon juice in here and I've got the matcha and then what I love to use for a sweetener we don't sell this at tea market but I want to share it with you because I really love it this is called Mayan sweet leaf and you know that stevia is a green leaf plant just like matcha just like tea and so this Mayan sweet leaf is basically like the matcha version of stevia so it is simply the stevia green leaf stone ground into a powder and it makes a wonderful sweetener and this whole little treat if you've ever come into tea market and we've made you one of these i'm going to make this the way because I, I guess i'm going to drink all of these when i'm done so i'm going to make them the way i like them and so i use about two-thirds of this particular spoon and i'll go ahead and sift that right over the ice as well now once we've got our matcha and our sweetener and our stevia in there we can take this off we're finished with that part and now i'm just going to add cold water Leave yourself a little shaking room. So instead of using the whisk, we're just going to um, use, the ice is gonna do the work and shake it. So all we do is shake this up. There's a gasket on here, so it's not gonna drip or leak or go all over the place. And it just requires a little bit of shaking. And then we've got it all finished. And you can add a little more water to it to make it to your, the strength that you enjoy. And I do like a little more of this. So as I said, a lot of people sometimes will do this and they'll think, well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't need any of this stuff. But as I said, matcha is so full of essential oils and amino acids that it's clumpy. But so you really can't just take a spoonful and put it in a cup and pour hot water over and stir it with a spoon. That's why I love doing the class. I enjoy doing this, this video for you. And we enjoy doing a demo for you when we make you a matcha when you come in so you can see exactly what we're talking about. Um, so when people say, oh, I don't need that, I'll just take the matcha. And I'm always thinking to myself, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Because really, it does go so much better. This is one of the things that, you know, I've learned from the men in my life, my husband, my father, my grandfather, the great, uh, the, uh, the perfect tool for the job makes every job so much easier. And that's true with matcha as well. This is the most refreshing drink. It is just absolutely delicious. And you can pour this over more ice and then just enjoy it. And you know what's so fun is this is a wonderful afternoon pick-me-up. So if you get that little sluggish feeling about three o'clock in the afternoon like I do, having this delicious little pick-me-up, um, you get that kind of burst of freshness from the lemon and a little hint of sweetness from the stevia and all of this wonderful 
wonderful energy, a uh, boost in energy, and matcha creates such balance in the body that you're not hungry, you're not feeling like I need a snack. It perfectly um, gets you going for the rest of the afternoon and a drink like this in the afternoon carries me through till dinner, absolutely no problem. So I love it for that. And with the only calories are coming from the lemon. So this whole thing is like 10 calories. So tell me another snack for 10 calories that'll do all that. And so that's why I love it so much. Another drink that I wanna make for you, this is our David Rio Chai Mix, and they actually make a green tea one. It is gentler on the spices than our classic David Rio Black Tea Chai, and super, super simple as well. And making this drink starts out exactly the same, so I'm going to use the matcha. and sift it in the little pot and start again, just like we did for the last one. All right, so we talked about L-theanine, and L-theanine, like I said, it really gives us that, that wonderful, um, gentle energy without the crash. And that's the other thing about matcha. You know, a lot of times if you drink coffee, you would realize that you get kind of a boost in energy sort of immediately from the coffee. And then in an hour or so, you can get kind of a crash. And that can lead some people to being looking for a snack or some people can make them a little bit cranky a little bit. Um, but the nice thing about matcha is we don't get that. So we get a slight boost in energy because the L-theanine is also responsible for the uh, caffeine in matcha getting into our central nervous system in a time release manner. So our energy goes up rather slowly. It is sustained for four to six hours, depending upon your metabolism, and then it exits the system slowly as well. So we don't get that spike and we don't get that crash, but what we get is that lovely sustained energy that keeps us alert, keeps us focused. Oh my gosh, with these little, you know, handheld computers screaming for our attention all the time. We all need all the help we can get in order to pay attention, right? I know I do. All right, so begin in the same way. We have our one gram of matcha. I'm going to pour it right inside and just quickly, quickly whisk it up. Now, this uh, chai mix from Aya is all sweet, creamy, and delicious. It already has all of the dairy and it has the sweetener right inside. And this little pot makes about 16 uh, ounces, which is a nice, big, healthy cup of something like that. So I'm gonna use two of these, two scoops. I'm just gonna pour hot water to combine. Now, 160 degrees water, this is what we use, and this is my recommendation. If you've, uh, a lot of times when I ask people if they've ever seen Japanese tea ceremony, which is what matcha is famous for being a part of, and people will say, no, I've never seen that. And I'll ask them, well, did you ever see Karate Kid? Karate Kid 2, uh, Mr. Miyagi is making matcha in that. And if you've seen movies and different things, and if you go to attend a Japanese tea ceremony, they'll be using boiling water. I'm one of those people who believes that you can actually overheat the nutrients out of different things. I like my vegetables al dente and tender crisp and things like that. So I tend to use the same brewing temperature for matcha that I use for brewing my green teas, which is about 160 degrees. So that is what we've got here. Now, watch how gorgeous this gets when we add the matcha to it. So you can add more hot water. And this is slightly spicy from the ginger and the cinnamon and the cardamom. It has a really nice uh, mild chai flavor. If you would like it a little richer, you can absolutely add a little splash of almond milk to make it a little richer or heavy cream or whatever you're into, whatever degree of creaminess that you would like to have. And if you think that you don't like matcha, this is my rebuttal. You would love it. So another thing, 
uh, that I wanted to talk to you about too is the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, because of that shade growing process, it, there is a ton of chlorophyll in the matcha powder and that is responsible. It's a wonderful blood detoxifier. It helps balance the pH system of the body. Our diet, our sweet meat diet in the United States of America is so acidic that we really need to balance that so that we can feel good, feel our best and stay healthy and well. And that's what a daily practice of drinking matcha is all about. So just go very briefly go over some of the health benefits of drinking matcha. Matcha raises your energy for four to six hours. It uh, creates a time release delivery system. Uh, matcha is much more gentle energy and it gives you calm mental alertness. It boosts metabolism up to 40% in regular consumers. This is one of the things that people ask me about all of the time with green tea and matcha is about weight loss. And I can tell you that uh, if all it took to lose weight was drinking green tea, I would be down to my original birth weight, five pounds, two ounces. Obviously it takes a little more, but I can tell you from being a regular matcha drinker and regular green tea drinker, it does boost your metabolism um, up to about 40%. And uh, so matcha drinkers, green tea drinkers burn more calories sitting on the couch than people who don't. So that's a wonderful thing, but how much? And the amount is about 40 extra calories a day. That's about half an apple. Doesn't seem fair, right? But over a period of a year, that could result in an average person about a two pound weight loss. And so that is very, very significant. The other thing that drinking matcha and drinking green tea daily, it helps to prevent the accumulation of body fat in the midsection. So tea drinkers, green tea drinkers, matcha drinkers in general will stay more lean in the, in the midsection, which is an absolute bonus as well. And so I really invite you to give matcha a try. The one that we have from Aya is wonderful. It's extremely high quality, really, really good for you. Again, I don't sell a variety of different brands and different things, but this is the kind that, uh, the one that I trust my own health to. Another super easy way to get the health benefits of matcha is making a smoothie. If you ever make a smoothie, super simple, just throw your ingredients right in the smoothie and your one scoop of matcha and ice, put the spurs to it and you will have a delicious smoothie that contains your daily matcha for the day. All right, well that is all the things that I have for you today. I would love to know your questions. Feel free to leave some in the comments. And then if you would like, we have a four page handout uh, of all of these benefits and all of the things that I've talked about matcha. If you would like that, send me an email, stacy, S-T-A-C-I-E dot T market at gmail.com and I will send you uh, that handout via email. And then I would also send you a 10% coupon so that you could use it to purchase our matcha starter set. The matcha starter kit includes a 30 gram tin of matcha, the perfect matcha whisk that you need, the sifter, and then also the spoon that I use. So all of those things come inside that. I hope you learned a little something today and I hope that I uh, encouraged you to give matcha a try and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.